Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ish Gaming, and today I'm going to start off this channel by showing you a how to video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a boat elevator. This is just what the finished product will look like. It doesn't have to be this tall, it be as tall as you want. And I'll just show you how it works. So let's grab a boat, we place it in the boat later. Close over here, boat elevator, and when we get in it, we activate that pressure pot, the trap door releases, and you're good to go. And I'll show you the refiltering system when I get up there. Also, I put signs in here so you can't run out of air. So just air halfway through. You'll have to do that depending on how high. So come up here, stairs, push the button, and those pressure plates get activated. And it refilters. How it does that is the boat drops down from there into here, which is the boat loader, and it flows through there, back and ready for another go. And when you want another go, you just click, enter, and you're good. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. You need, this is what your frame should look like. And this is the boat loader, the elevator. So I'm going to start by placing eight blocks. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Five, two, three, four, five, and come in, and go in. The, the frame loop should look something like this. Then I want to build it up to and test it. Over here for the boat loader, you're going to want to make a triangle with your pressure pads like this. We're going to want a block right over that pressure pad. Actually, sorry, I did this one. You're going to want that pressure pad there. And then you're going to want to make another triangle. One here, here, here. You need a sign. And a trap door right there. Another sign here. Once we have that done, we need two solid water blocks right here. And that's everything for your boat loader. Now over here, the elevator can do a test. Place a bucket of water there, put the boat in. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention you should place two buckets. So that's solid. It doesn't, so there's no downforce in the boat to allow it to fall. It doesn't look like there's no downforce, but it can pull a little match. Gets over to here, up in it, 
close to the top. You've done everything right. And then you want to keep on building it. All right, guys, we're back. And I just want to show you what I, how to fill up your tunnel, I guess you could say. So you're going to need, for, for each level, for each block, you're going to need four water sources in each corner. And I know it seems like a lot of work and it takes a while, but it's worth it. And I'll be back once I have filled this up. Alright, so now we're ready for a test. We'll just place a boat. Flows over here. In. Flows up to the top. You got every block. And I'm just going to show you quickly. If you have a very high tower, I guess every 15 or so blocks, you go in each corner and you place a line on different levels. In that way, there's no way you can move it there. So now what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to make the reload system. First thing, first step is to mark off the core, the core section here. Boat to fall into. And then come over here and need to wall this area off. And place two buckets of water. The next step is going to be to place two pressure plates. And Make sure you place two or else one side of the water will drop and the boat can go into the wall and break. So next you're going to want to make sure you have a frame over the over the boat drop. We're going to need to build out eight squares from that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once that is done, you want to place the two blocks of water and make sure it doesn't go in the garden yet. So now your stick is first we're going to have a place where you want to place there. The boat will get pushed over onto there. So I'm for some redstone wire. So I'm just going to want to run it right by it. And you're going to want to build out one, which will make it easier to cover up. And what I like to do is just 
something simple like this. Run it all the way over. We need the spot where you want your button out. Button, whatever works for you. Push that down, and now you have the two working pressure pads. So once you've got that done, I'll let you guys cover up the redstone wiring. It shouldn't be too hard. And we are ready test. First test of this. Let's go in there. Yep. Comes up and then you place steps and that would be a really cool entrance to a treehouse or whatever you guys feel like making. Yeah, that's everything for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And comment, rate, subscribe.